you know, we do we we, we got to sit and realize that a lot of times women raise the exact men that they hate. Women say they hate weak oh. men, right? I hate a weak man. I hate an old feminine, sensitive ass, paragraph typing ass nigga. You hate a weak man, but then you turn around and raise one. Because unfortunately, a woman cannot raise a boy to become a man. She can raise him to become an adult. But you can't, ma'am, there is not a black woman here in the world that can raise a boy to become a black man. You are not going to be able to teach him what he's what he's what he's what he's going to deal with as a black man. You're not going to teach you're not going to be able to teach him what to look out for. You're not going to be able to teach him how to problem solve shit. You're not going to be able to teach him. You're not he, you because you, you've never faced those challenges in life. So you can cheat, you can you can you can raise him to be an adult, but you can't raise him to be a strong black man. And so what do you do? Well, you get pregnant because the guy's good enough for you to get pregnant and fuck raw, but he's not good enough to marry. You have the nigga kid and then you shun him and you disassociate with him and you make it extremely hard for this man to be in his child life. It's conditional. You can see your child if you bring this money in. You can see your child if you bring this PlayStation in. You can see your child if you buy food for all me and my other kids. Then you can see your child. And so in turn, you're actually raising the exact same man that you can't stand. You're raising a feminine, weak, sensitive-ass dude. And then you turn around and say, ain't no good men out here. Uh, nah, your first baby daddy was decent. He just might not have had enough money or whatever. And you know, but if you would have stayed down and and brought him more peace and pleasure rather than goddamn pain and anguish, he might have figured it out. Because guess what? He figured it out later on. He's 35 and he married now. You know what I'm saying? You hate the bitch because you know, because she because she's staying in the big house or whatever. But you know, it is what it is. And so, you know, I just think that we are stronger together as men and women. And I wish that our our ladies can see that. See, I don't discredit what a woman brings to a man. I don't discredit what there are things that women can do that we just aren't good at. They bring value, right? But I will not sit here as a man and let a woman discredit what the fuck I bring to this table. Baby, I built the damn table. Now, I understand you cooked this food on this table and this shit is amazing. But, baby, I built this motherfucking table. I bought this motherfucking house that this table sits in. And I paid for this food that you cooked to f and the oven and the damn seasoning that you seasoned up for you to be able to serve this table. And you're not going to overlook that just because you can make a turkey, bitch. Not going for it, brother. And so... I just want, and that's what my platform has always been designed. I want us to work together. How can we find, hey, what are you good at? What am I good at? How can we bring this together and work together? But at the end of the day, you have to appreciate and respect what men bring to the table as well as we respect what you, what you guys bring to the table. And that's where I think there's a lot of disconnect in the dating market. I couldn't agree more. I could not agree more. I couldn't agree more. All right. I just, um, look, I just said a little tougher, you know what I'm saying? Because the baby daddy said it nice. The daddy said it nice. Every man in in their the life said it nice to him, and they ain't want to listen to it. So Nietzsche gonna push the button, drop the bomb, and tell your ass like it is. What did tell you real? I ain't gonna sugarcoat that shit. <laughs> oh man, what's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.